Yes. You think we play first with this deck? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's kind of controlling. Well, we've got a bunch of removal. We've got skin renders. Like, you don't want to really be going first with the skin render. You want them to play the creature on four drop, and then you re respawn. I'm thinking we're heading straight to six, though. And just dropping a Tyranix and winning? Yeah. Okay. First it is. I mean, it's. I think it's close. Ooh. Could be better. Urgh. Could be worse. Not much. I mean, we're going to draw a land for the Moriak replica, which gives us two more cards to draw the forest. And which even if we don't... puts us into the Scud. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Moriak replica plus Necrogen Scudder plus we brings us down to 15. It. <laughs> <laughs> that's not good. It's cool. I think we keep this. You yeah. Agree? Yeah. That's funny. Oh, all right. He's on the ball. All right. Just going to play Swamp. And ship to turn. Again, this is, I think this is the part of drafting where it helps the most to have a uh, draft partner. That could have been a forest. That would have been nice. That would have been incredible. But uh, it's fine. Uh, yeah, because, like, I don't know, so many of the mistakes, the play mistakes that I make are just missing the obvious bullshit. And I think that having somebody else helps you not miss the obvious stuff. Well, I guess we got Moriak Replica? Um, like, I think Moriak Replica is good because we can... Man, our deck is so good against Infect if we sure. can just get a Forest. Yeah. We need that for us, basically. Yeah. Also, Necrogen Scudder is basically not, has no downside against Infect. It's true. So, yeah, the replica, though? Um, I and mean, the other option would be to just play, play that and see if he swings just into block. it. Yeah. Would we block early, though? I wouldn't. I wouldn't either. So, <laughs> let's replica. just play the Moriak replica. <laughs> Plus, I, I think our most likely play, especially if he doesn't kill it, is next turn to just crack it straight up. And hope that one of the cards we draw is a forest, and then we can play Blight Mamba, um, which can block the Iker Claw Mirror regardless. Okay. Vector Asp. Really not scared of this guy's deck if I can just get a green. <sighs> what do you think? Do I just crack it now, or do I wait and get the block out of it? Oh, well, you don't want to be a... You, I think you should crack it now. The thing is, if I crack it now and I don't draw a land, I go up to eight and I actually have to discard. Okay. And he gets in for two poison. I think I'm better... Honestly, I think I'm better off just... Missing a land drop? Missing a land drop, getting a block in, and cracking him. Yeah, but if you get your land drop, you get your Mamba out. True, but this way I get my Mamba out next turn anyway... And, like, again, like, if I crack this guy and I don't hit my land and he plays, like, a Black Cleave Goblin, I'm pretty much just dead. It's true. Honestly, another option is just to straight up drop the Scudder. I think you should do that. You think so? Yep. Then you can block with the, the replica the vector against asp, that. And, and then, then I can block the Icon yeah, with just the Necrogen Scudder. Just to, that's a better choice. Yeah. I like it. Okay. See, I would, I would never have made that play. I wouldn't have thought about it hard enough. Oh, we can so beat this deck, dude. <laughs> this deck is so beatable by our deck. Our deck is, like, built to beat this deck. Do we block at this point? I don't think so. Untamed might? No, don't. That's ridiculous. Now I can start getting in with the Scudder. Or just block that Fallen. Jeez, we need green so bad. Yes! <laughs> skin well, Render? Uh, yeah. I think, I, think, I think it's the Skin Render on the Fallen, and then just swing with the Scudder. If he wants to deal two more or one more damage to me with the Iker Claw Mirror, he's, he's welcome. Oh, no, he can't even. Then I'll just chump with the Skin Render. Yeah. Yeah. You think so? I, think I mean, my other option is, I think, Sispair. But... It's a good card. I feel like Skin Render just uses no, mana just, better. No, it's just two for one. It. Yeah? Yeah. All right. And then get in there with the Necrogen Scudder? Yeah. Yeah. Like it. 
absolute correct play. Yeah, I agree. Yep, this turned around pretty that's, quick. That's why we wanted black. Yep. <laughs> the black is certainly doing its thing. <laughs> and again, we've got the flesh allergy for backup in case he plays like a, you know, Skitherix or something. Although that would pretty much still just kill us. Yeah, I'm still torn about this format. The bombs are really, really bomby. And yes, I will absolutely make that trade. No problems. Wow. Just traded. You don't think so? No, I think I, yeah. I was surprised he didn't have something to pump or something. Skitherix. Oh, Iker Rats. Well, that's fine. Fascinating. Makes me happy I blocked. Okay. Well, interesting, interesting options. You could do the Horizon Spellbomb and a Suspair. I could. Another option is to keep Moriok Replica mana open and play the Blight Mamba. Do it. I like that one much better. You like better. that better? Yeah. Because we this guy is kind of useless at this point. I mean, we'll probably we'll get. Well, he's gonna kill him. We'll get course. one more. Yeah, we'll get one more block. Well, he won't kill it. We'll have the option. We could just kill it, or we can get the cards. I think that'll be a really interesting choice. You have to put the moment down. You're gonna swing. I'm first? gonna swing first sure. either way. Swing with the scutter. Sure. So. So yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Spell bomb, Suspair, or Blight Mamba, Morak Replica Mana? Um, like we really have no reason to play the Spell Bomb. That's one thing. But on the other hand, I think you should do the Blight Mamba and then the Replica. Okay. I'm not even sure we want to actually crack the Replica though. We, it may be better just to trade with it. Well, two cards is two cards. Two cards is two cards. Okay, so at this point, I block the Vector Ass with the Moriok Replica and the Iker Rats with the Blight Mamba, I think. I agree. Because then I can kill them both and still crack the Moriok Replica. You are correct. This guy's got to have a trick by now. I mean, this guy's. If this guy doesn't have a Corpse Cur, like, and an Untamed Might, which is certainly possible, he's just dead. That makes him use one of his black. Untamed Might? I mean, that does nothing. Protection from artifacts. Okay. All right. That so happened. I will crack. Well, you, you still got him for a little while. Well, but like, no, I don't. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, all right. No reason to do it yet. Convince me. Too bad you didn't have an extra green. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. In fact. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, this guy is pretty much useless now. Ooh, that's just fine. Yeah, there you go. Play the forest. Um, swing with the scutter. Don't see any reason not to, really. Um, copper mirror, Sisper? Yeah. That's pretty backbreaking. I think I'll keep my Copper Mirror around um, and just block the Vector Ass with the Sisbear. I'm fine going down to a 1, 2. I'm not going to win with inf Poison Counters at this point. Sure. You're going to win with this uh, Scudder. I'm, I'm, totally, I'm just going <laughs> to win straight up with this Negrogen Scudder. <laughs> You're like two turns away from them playing Might. Yeah, totally. I was just I was just thinking about that. <laughs> um, actually, thing, actually you could you could flush out a gym after that. Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so 11, <laughs> 10, 9, 8... Can play an untamed might for one more. Oh, he just conceded. Yeah. <laughs> he ten lands. Apparently, he's got six lands in his hand. Well, that's not going to be a way to win the game. Okay, time for sideboarding. Zero. Well, I mean, I'm tempted to like bring in dross hoppers. Or actually, for example, here's where you take out Teljala Defiance and you bring in like a dross hopper or a Moriak Reaver. I think it's actually the dross hopper. I think the Moriak Reaver is going to take out that freaking. Uh, guy that becomes a three three. In fact, oh, Iker Claw Mirror. Yeah, dude, that You're guy. Right. All right, more rock replica in. Um, <laughs> you guys that are listening, you'll notice that I will just describe a creature as opposed to its name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
That works. We, we know. We all know what you're talking about. <laughs> Um, are we good? I mean, is there anything that's bad in this deck against I him? I don't think so. No, th this is what we're, you know, worried about. Yeah, like, well, this is, I mean, this is this, this is the deck we can beat, though. Yeah. Like, this is exactly the type of deck that having a few Infect guys is so good against. Sure. Of course, you know, we got pretty confident when we got 10 lands, so. Yeah, that's true. 